Hi guys, I'm just going to show some MIDI implementation uh, with the iPad and DM2000. I've simply connected my iPad through the MacBook Pro MIDI window and uh, I am USB to MIDI into the DMX and I've connected with a ad hoc network between the iPad and the MacBook Pro which is right there. Uh, so we are wireless and I'm going to show you right now the fader control of eight channels. There, there you go. Okay, slowly. And two. There you go. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, and. I've actually mapped a few other things. There's a lot of different commands we can map. So I'm going to show you the pan right now. And uh, there we go. As you can see, the pan on channel one is moving with the encoder wheel on the iPad. The second encoder to the, let's see if we get this to the thresholds. Yep. And as you can see, I'm changing the threshold, and that is simply by the encoders going on right now. I also have two buttons on this particular program, which is Live Rig, uh, available in the App Store. Uh, and as you can see, go ahead and push them. As you push them, there's a illuminated and non-illuminated section. So as you can see, I can arm the track. Okay, there we go. As you can see, the phase of this channel is reverse and normal. Um, any of that is is implementable through the MIDI command screen here on the DM. And as you can see, there is a whole bunch of uh, you can take any input to any channel. You can also do a number of different features. There's a comp gate, EQ, out delay, in delay, pre post, insert, phase, on, and, uh, and the fader level um, for each channel, for each 127 inputs. So it's fairly, fairly uh, robust. You can also not only uh, include the, the inputs, which there will be 96 of but you can also control the aux or the bus um, so what we're planning on doing is doing a live mix uh, front of house but we will be able to control multiple iPads for multiple monitor mixes on stage um, and it'll be transparent to the front of house engineer so anyway just wanted to show y'all bye now